top 10 Korean series on Netflix. The world of Korean dramas is a strange and beautiful place. The South Korean entertainment industry is slowly growing to worldwide dominance. Hey guys, welcome to your entertainment channel Netflix Top, where we tell you about the top rated movies and series on Netflix. So grab your popcorn and stay with us until the end of this video, because today's video is going to list down the top 10 best Korean series to watch on Netflix. So let's get started. Number 10. All of Us Are Dead Brace yourself for this one, because it's definitely going to hurt. All of Us Are Dead follows an ensemble cast of young students who are trapped in their high school when it's overrun by zombies. Left to fend for themselves, they have to work together and use whatever resources they can find in order to survive. Seeing a bunch of terrified children fighting for their lives is howling enough, but zombies aren't the only evils that teenagers are forced to face in All of Us Are Dead. It's still high school after all. Not everybody is inclined to help each other out, with the violence starting before any zombies even show up. Throw them into the mix, and it's safe to say not everyone will make it out. Number 9. Sweet Home Based on the webtoon of the same name, Sweet Home is an energetic, thrilling, apocalyptic horror story about monsters trying to kill everyone and take over the world. No big deal, right? Sung Kang makes a rare appearance in a horror show, as the actor usually sticks to romance dramas. Kang plays a character named Cha Hyun So, a traumatized high school student who moves into an apartment by himself after his parents are killed in a car accident. Unbeknownst to Hyung So and the other residents, their apartment building happens to be ground zero for a species of monsters hoping for world domination. Sweet Home is a great example of the crazy stories that come out of webcomics, which somehow work so well when adapted to the screen. The series is dark, bloody, and unpredictable, and a definite win for Netflix. Number 8. Crash Landing Crash Landing on You follows South Korean heiress Yoon Si Ri who mistakenly crosses the border into North Korea and crash lands in a paragliding accident. She's then discovered by Ri jong Hyuk, an officer in the North Korean army. However, rather than turn her in, Jun Hyuk decides to secretly help her return home and falls in love during the process. The concept of this hugely popular star-crossed romance admittedly sounds bizarre, particularly as the relationship between North and South Korea is fairly a serious subject. However, several defectors have praised the touching drama for its accuracy and attention to detail in depicting everyday North Korean life. Number 7. Designated Survivor – 60 Days Designated Survivor starts with an intriguing premise. An explosion kills the U.S. President and most of Congress, leaving a relatively low-ranking politician to step up as the new commander-in-chief. In South Korean adaptation Designated Survivor – 60 Days, that role falls to reluctant new Minister of Environment Park Moo Jin a quiet scientist who is more comfortable teaching chemistry than arguing policy. 60 Days feels much tenser and more desperate than the U.S. original, with the meek, inexperienced President Park even less suited to his new role than Kiefer Sutherland's President Kirkman was. South Korea's new president also has to deal with the immediate threat of North Korea and the powerful U.S. pushing its own agenda, making the entire situation feel extraordinarily fraught. Fortunately, 60 Days is complete with a set run of 16 episodes, so viewers can expect a solid conclusion and don't have to struggle through a flagging third season. Number 6. It's Okay to Not Be Okay It's Okay to Not Be Okay is a touching romance focusing on children's book author Ko Moon Young, psychiatric hospital worker Moon Gang Tae, and Gang Tae's brother Moon Seng Tae. Seng Tae has autism, and the brothers frequently move due to his trauma surrounding their mother's death. Eventually, they cross paths with Moon Young, who has antisocial personality disorder and develops a romantic fixation on Gang Tae. Though the whole situation initially sounds unhealthy, the three soon start to learn from each other and help each other heal. It's Okay to Not Be Okay takes a sensitive, realistic look at mental health, focusing on people with disabilities as humans worthy of love rather than projects to be fixed. Number 5. Kingdom Leading a country is hard enough, but doing so during an epidemic is even more so, especially when the disease transforms your subjects into violent, raging cannibals. Set several centuries ago during the Joseon Dynasty, Kingdom follows Crown Prince Lee Chang as he faces not only the zombie threat, but a political coup threatening to depose him from the throne. Netflix's first original Korean series, Kingdom, offers an uncommon yet gripping mix of historical drama, political intrigue, and zombie horror. It's also virtually stunning to boot, a feast for the eyes as well as the infected. Unlike other Korean drama, Kingdom has snagged a second season, with many fans hoping for more. Number 4. Business Proposal Meet K. Tae Moon on Hyo Suk, a detail-oriented workaholic and the new president of Go Foods. 
Meet Shin Hari, Kim Se Jung, a new researcher at the company who's crushing hard on her college friend Lee Min Wu, Sun Wong Soi. Despite having her interests elsewhere, Shin Hari's best friend Jin Young Soi, Sal In Ah, convinces her to go on a blind date with Kang Tae Mu in her place. When Shin Ha Ri realizes she's on a date with her boss doll, things get complicated and she does her best to turn him off. However, when King Tae Mu is undeterred, no matter what she does while still thinking she's her friend Jin Young Soi, things get even more complicated. Business Proposal is a sweet and silly K drama that's sure to satisfy your rom com craving. Number 3 The Uncanny Counter If you want a superhero style story, look no further. The Uncanny Counter is the story of So Moon, Jo Byung Gyu, a kind, intelligent boy who has a walking disability as a result of a tragic car accident when he was a child, which killed both of his parents. One day, So Moon is possessed by a spirit that grants him the power to banish demons that escape the afterlife. He joins a team called the Counters, which includes Mo Ta, Yo Jung Sang, Ha Na, Kim Se Jung, and Mei Ok, Yeom Hae Ran who fight together against a rising threat of evil in the area. It gets even more complicated for So Moon when he finds out that his parents' death weren't accidents after all, and evil spirit was involved. Another series based on a webcomic, The Uncanny Counter, is a stylish, action-packed thrill ride that doesn't pull any punches. With a dark, threatening villain that keeps the team on edge, the show maintains a quick pace, while the fantastic acting by the cast adds a deeply emotional side to the story. Despite being advertised as an action fantasy show, you should still be ready to shed some tears when you watch. Number 2. Startup Startup is set in a fictional Korean version of Silicon Valley, where Bae Suzy's character, Sal Dao Mi, dreams of being the Korean Steve Jobs. Following her passion, Dao Mi gets involved with a startup business and quickly becomes entangled with a complicated love triangle. One young man named Han Ji Pyong, Kim Seun Ho, is her first love, now a successful venture capitalist while Nam Do San, Nam Jo Hyui, is a young man down on his luck, who Dao Mi thinks is her first love. This gives Do San the motivation to give his startup another try, while also attempting to make Dao Mi's mistake a reality. Like Itiwan Class, Startup presents a new style of life for young people. While taking on the modern industry of startups, the show also gives everyone the classic romance they know they want. Number 1. Memories of the Alhambra a true amalgam of genres, Memories of the Alhambra takes place mainly in Granada, Spain with the Korean cast. A science fiction drama of sorts, the series follows the CEO of an investment company, Yo Jin Woo, Hyun Bin, who travels to Spain in search of the creator of an AR game in development that feels way too real. When game and reality start to blur and someone is killed, Jin Woo, with the help of the developer's sister, Jung Hee Jo, Park Shin Hae, must find the bug in the game and fix it before more people die. Memories of the Alhambra is a breath of fresh air for K-dramas due to its setting and innovative premise. While at times the story lacks sense, the concept and execution are spot on, and honestly, you can't help but fall in love with Hyun Bin. And this brings us to the end of the video. What are your thoughts on today's video? Share with us in the comments below. Also, don't forget to like the video and subscribe to our channel for more amazing movie reviews coming your way. And thank you for watching.